and Zhijian Wang from Academia Seneca and National Taiwan University. So this work is about uh, visual, visualization of, of music data. So uh, typically in music emotion modeling, so there are two typical approaches. One is the categorical approach that <laughs> categorizes the moods, semantics into a discrete label. And for dimensional uh, approach, the, the music moment, in, emotions are represented in the uh, 2D a space spanning by the balance arousal uh, proposed by the psychologists. So uh, these two approaches actually share a unified goal of understanding the emotion of semantics, uh, emotion semantics of music. So uh, in, this, in this work, uh, we will present, uh, we propose a learning-based framework that arbitrary mood checks can be mapped into the VA space in an unsupervised and content-based manner without any training ground truths for the semantic mapping. So, uh, so with this scenario, we can automatically generate a semantically structured take out in the VA space. Just like this, we project the mood tag into a uh, VA space. So here's the uh, taxonomy of music moods, the list of music moods. For example, for a user to use, uh, to, if a user wants to select a tag, for further uh, music retrieval purpose, we would <coughs> like to uh, 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 scan all the lists, so it would be uh, time consuming. So what about if we can project the text into uh, a 2D space generated by SOM? It's, uh, uh, so similar text will be closed one another. But uh, however, uh, it's, uh, it will be difficult to interpret the dimensions. For example, this, is, this example was proposed by Laura, and he said that here's a high arousal, and here's low arousal, and this axis is corresponding to variance. But so we would like a, a strictly projection uh, of the tag into the VA space, and uh, the, the size of the tag would, would be correspond, would correspond to the, the confidence, how confident do we think that the tag should be right here? So that's the uh, whole, whole scenario. So let me give you some potentiality in order to classify the debate because some reviewer will be asked, why do you want to do that? <laughs> so uh, not, not all these users may be unfamiliar with the VA model, so it would be helpful to display the good tags in the VA space. And uh, so that uh, it would be you will facilitate the application such as uh, take 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 best music search and browsing interface, and uh, conventional dimension reduction for take visualization may result dimension that are not uh, uh, conforming to the balance arousal. So, uh, and, and uh, although the VA values of some effective terms can be found, but they are not actually elicited from music. So uh, I think it's most important because affected terms are not cross-lingual and not always have exact translation in different language. So that is lead to uh, cultural dependence and corporate dependence of this task. So we think that here I give some example. It's a Chinese translation I got from this English term. You can see sometimes uh, uh, an English term will correspond to numbers of Chinese terms. So it's a, it's a gap right here. So we think that machine learning is necessary for such a task. So these two model actually computationally model the generated process from uh, acoustic features to a mood tag for this ADP and for, for the VA value for the AEG. So based on the same acoustic feature space, the ATP and AEG models can share and transit the semantic information to each other. So uh, because they are sharing the acoustic features, so the, the acoustic feature space can be serve as a bridge, and we can align one emotion modality, that is the tag, into uh, the other, that is, uh, for example, VA space. Uh, so this work, I think, possibly the, the first attempt to establish a joint model for exploring between 
uh, the discrete root categories then continuously motion space. So uh, because the acoustic feature is quite important surface of bridge, so uh, let me show you the uh, we first uh, construct the reference model for the acoustic features. We have a large mu music database, database, and we have the audio signal of each music tracks. And we try the, the frame-based features, and we construct global sets of uh, frame vectors. And we can train the so-called acoustic GMA. So that's in this acoustic GMA, each component may correspond to a specific acoustic pattern. And uh, uh, so that we can represent the songs into probabilistic space like this. We just uh, compute the posterior probability of each uh, feature vectors and summarize this uh, as a histogram called acoustic GMM posterior. It's a, so uh, it's the most important slide of this work. Uh, it's a modern model emotion semantic mapping. It's a diagram. So, uh, what I mentioned is the three models, the ATP, acoustic GMA, and AG, and all the component models in these three models are actually aligned. So we can transit the weights from the mood tag to the VA GMA. That, that is, we have this tag, and we have this model, and we can fold in this tag and estimate uh, the corresponding acoustic GMA posterior, and use these weights to generate the weighted VA, VA GMA and merge it to a single representative Gaussian. So that's uh, that's the whole ideas. And uh, the, the mapping process is uh, are transparent and easy to observe and interpret, just like I, I, I did. As for evaluation, we uh, we con we consider two settings. That is uh, because I mentioned there are two. Uh, annotate two, two, two types of annotated data sets. In, in our case, we consider is uh, called the first setting is called joint annotated corpus. That means it's called uh, MER16 alone setting. That means in these data sets, uh, there are 60 music clips. All the 60 music clips has the, ha, have the uh, tag annotation and uh, the B annotations. And for another setting is called ANG1644, uh, MER60 setting is actually a cross corpus settings. That means uh, the check are learned from another data sets with different music clips. So, uh, so for the uh, MER60, there, uh, each clip is annotated by 40 subjects, and we query the last diagram for, uh, for, for the 60 songs and link 50 top root tags, and for the uh, NG1644, we crowd audio of the top songs for 33 root tags from uh, this list in the All Music Guide, and uh, most of these tags are used uh, in the Mirix root classification task, and this finally leads to uh, 1644 uh, clips. So as for acoustic feature, we got the bag of friends representation as is a kiss of friend representation. And uh, we trade the friend-based musical features from audio using the MR toolbox. And all the friends of a clip are aggregated into the acoustic GMA posterior and perform the analysis of emotion as a clip label instead of friend label. We, we can generate the single Gaussian for each tag. Uh, and uh, the variance right here, the means right here. And we use the uh, graph bits for visualization. That means uh, uh, use the, this software to avoid tag overlapping. And here is the res resulting uh, root tag. As you can see, we, we saw this very reasonable because we can find the found cheerful happies in the first portion and aggressive and increase the seconds, sad, wistful, third, and calm, gentle, four. And for another setting, it's cross modality, uh, sorry, co cross corpus settings. We, we also have the, the Gaussians, and we generate uh, the corresponding tag cloud. And we also found uh, uh, these tags are in the uh, first portrait, so aggressive. And these tags are in the second, and in the third, and the fourth. Uh, 30 effective turns proposed by uh, WP and uh, ANU. 
So for, for Ted, we measure the equivalent distance between the generated VA value and the, the psychiatrist one. And we set up a, a very simple baseline that is, uh, we, we just uh, uh, set the generated VA value of each tag to the origin. That means it's not effective. For each tag, it's just uh, predict the map to, to the origin. So as compared to the results, our result the distance is significantly uh, uh, smaller than the, the baseline, uh, suggesting our, our framework is, is effective. So for discussion, the results is not sensitive to K. That means that with different cases, the, the, the tags actually look similar. And uh, such a learning uh, based framework is definitely scalable. So that if you have more data, you may probably learn the better uh, the result. So uh, another feature that is automatic discovery, for, for instance, uh, what I mentioned, if you want to project Chinese tag, you just construct a balanced music corpus and try some Chinese to notate some Chinese defined good tag, then you can do the projection. And we found an interesting is interesting results that like there's an inverse correlation between the VA intensity and the, the co covariance of the tag. That means the tags lies on the outer circle will have a large form size. Like this, you can see uh, this is quite interesting phenomena in this case. Yeah, because the, the instant, uh, the intensity, larger intensity, may, may, people may, may lead to smaller, uh, uh, it need to higher consistency. So it's, in conclusion, it's, uh, we propose a novel framework that unifies the categorical and dimensional emotion semantics of music. And we also demonstrate it how to map the new tag into the 2D VA, into the VA Gaussians and generate the corresponding tag crowd. And the, this can be further extended to arbitrary tags. So we will in the future, we will verify whether an average tag is really related or not. And we will conduct a user study for the result, and we will do more investigations in the future presentation for better generalization of the emotion model.